When thinking about visual effects and CGI, usually what comes to mind are big-budget blockbuster sci-fi movies where computer-generated images are used to create fantastic visions, worlds, characters or monsters. The truth, however, is that today, barely any film or TV production would exist without VFX. You may not notice them, because huge part of those effects isn't visually spectacular, although being essential to the story. They're called invisible effects, because the audience is convinced that what they see has been a part of set or done in front of the camera. Have a look, how it's really done. The term invisible effects has been used for the first time, probably regarding Forrest Gump. This 1994 drama contains over 120 visual effects shots that brought industrial light and magic, the company behind it, an Oscar. However, you won't be able to notice most of those effects. Already the opening scene of the movie is a visual effect. The camera is following a feather which flies and lands in a specific place. It wouldn't be possible to create that in front of a camera. A real feather was shot on a blue screen and later animated and composited with the footage. At the end, a CG feather was used to make it land exactly in a position of the real feather to be picked up by Tom Hanks. Important part of Forrest Gump's story was losing legs by one of the main characters. Cleverly planned shots were digitally processed, and the limbs, covered with blue material, have been painted out. Some set elements were also added in post-production, like this table, or part of this wall, positioned in place of the removed legs, to enhance the illusion. Another example of an unnoticeable effect was Forrest Gump playing ping-pong. All those scenes were shot without a ball. It was added in post-production, allowing actors to concentrate on performance and delivering a completely believable effect. Crowd multiplication is today a widely used invisible effect. In Forrest Gump, digital compositing allowed to show a 100,000 crowd while having only 1,000 extras on set. They were shot multiple times in different places and later combined digitally. All those effects go unnoticed by the audience, keeping the story in the center of their attention. A more recent example of perfect utilization of invisible effects was Martin Scorsese's The Wolf of Wall Street. You would never notice the huge amount of effects without a breakdown. The main area of visual effects application was set extensions. Creating environments adequate to the main character's lavish lifestyle or simply saving a lot of money and time required for shooting on location. The VFX that you see have been created by a company named Brainstorm Digital. Unexpectedly, you can find some amazing invisible effects, also in VFX-packed blockbusters. You could be surprised that in the Avengers, almost all shots happening in New York have been done on a green screen stage. There's quite a few restrictions about shooting in New York and where you can get road closures and where you can set off pyro, um, at, which isn't very much. And you also have a lot of restrictions around where you can take a helicopter. And, and do filming. You can't, you can't get below 500 feet above the tops of any buildings. ILM has digitally recreated huge parts of the city, over 20 blocks, by making around 2,000 spherical images, comprised of 250,000 photos. Then, with 3D modeling and camera projections, the green screen stage has been replaced with a digital set extension of New York. The outcome is completely realistic. Set extensions are probably the most often used in visible effects. This technique is widely utilized in modern TV productions, which do not have budgets big enough for shooting principal photography on locations. One great example can be Ugly Betty, a 2006 TV series which can surprise you with the amount of effects that remain invisible. 
When we started to try to visualize this show, we realized that, you know, you can go into various parts of Los Angeles and recreate Manhattan, but it's near impossible to recreate Queens. And that's when it was really Silvio said, look, we can do this in green screen. I've done this before. This amazing work has been provided by Stargate Studios. With the advancements of technology, invisible effects are starting to appear in new areas. In Captain America The First Avenger, the main character, Steve Rogers, needed to transform from a skinny nerd into a muscular superhero. Or rather the other way, as Chris Evans, who plays Captain America, already is a muscular guy. We did a few proof of concept tests, and I remember showing a section of the film, early rough cut footage of the rebirth scene where there were a few shots of Chris Skinny, gets onto a table, goes into the pod, the pod opens up, reveals the muscles, and the people I was showing to, how did you add those muscles? That was amazing. How, what's that effect? How did you add those muscles? And I went, that's not the effect. The effect is the skinny version. So with an actor double, meticulous preparations and digital compositing, we're receiving two different persons with the same face. Again unnoticed as an effect, this enhances the story. somebody that can infiltrate a place that's designed to prevent but simple head swapping is not enough when it comes to the latest trend of showing actors in retrospective scenes where they need to look much younger recently we had several really well done examples of such effects and i try to steal my research michael douglas was de-aged in ant-man thanks to makeup and digital effects the result is amazing easy you mentioned my wife Similar effect can be found in TV series Westworld, where a digital de-aging process was applied to Anthony Hopkins by a Swedish VFX company, Important Looking Pirates. However the most extreme de-aging effect can be found in Captain America Civil War, where Robert Downey Jr. was brought back to his 20s. Although, those effects can't exactly be called invisible. The audience can assume that the younger version was created with some kind of trickery, they show however a completely new direction for invisible effects. Digital humans. So far, there's been a lot of not very successful attempts, and only a bunch, of really well done, digital humans. Although it's fairly easy now, to create a realistic 3D model of a human face, which can not be distinguished from the original, the problems start when you try to add life to it. The illusion breaks very easily, when the digital character starts talking. That's what happens for example in Terminator Genesis. The 3D model of young Arnold Schwarzenegger looks perfect. Until it speaks. The facial expressions are extremely complicated, and human eye can spot the slightest inconsistency. The most successful digital humans, have been created lately for movies like, Star Wars Rogue One where, actor Peter Cushing, was brought back to life, for the role of Governor Tarkin. And young, digital version of Carrie Fisher, appeared as Princess Leia. In Blade Runner 2049, MPC was faced here with recreating Rachel. A character from the 1982 Blade Runner. This time, unlike in Terminator, they've almost nailed it. It's nearly impossible to distinguish the digital Rachel from its original. Children of Men Alfonso Cuarón's movie received one of the best invisible effect and a digital human reproduction. In this scene, a newborn baby was created completely digitally. It remains unnoticed as an effect, but helps the story in an immense way, and overcomes all sort of problems involving a use of real baby. In the coming years, we can expect digital humans, to become more realistic, and indistinguishable from real actors. Companies like Digital Domain, are using AI, to create more realistic facial expressions, and facial motion capture. The ability to de-age an actor, or bring him back to life, opens a lot of new possibilities for filmmaking. It's going to be really interesting, to observe how this area of visual effects, develops in the future. Invisible effects, will remain an important part of movies.
We can even say that those are the best visual effects as they are so realistic that they remain unnoticed. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to get more videos about VFX and its history.